Welcome. In this video, we will see how to use a remote XY application for developing a mobile app for IoT applications. So to begin with, you have to log into this website that is remotexy.com. Once you log into this website, you have to register on this website. So to do that, we have to click on this sign in. Once you click on sign in, you will get this window. Here there is option to create an account. So I have already created the account. So I will just put my credentials that is email and password and I will click on sign in. Once I click on sign in, I will get this window. So in this, there are different options. So here, uh, these buttons are used for, first button is used for creating a new project. Then uh, next is for opening a existing project. And we can save the project and we can save this project as some with some different name right so these are the uh, few buttons then on the left side we are having a panel which is having different control interfaces so first one is a simple button so this is a, a simple push button then we have a switch that is on off switch then we have a radio button which can be used for selecting one of the option then we have a slider, we have a joystick, then we have a RGB uh, color combination. So these elements can be simply dragged and dropped on this layout. So this is the layout of a mobile and you can simply take for example a switch, drag it and drop it on this layout. So wherever you want to place that switch, you can place that and uh, that application will be created. Right? So similarly, after this control, we have some sensors like compass or accelerometer which is present in the mobile that we can utilize for uh, doing some operations then after that we are having some indicators like uh, LED, red led then rgb led so again if you want to have that in your application simply drag it and drop it on the layout right? so depending on what input it is getting it will uh, color give a specific uh, color and we have linear level arc level then linear division level instrument text this can be used for giving some input uh, to the application text input then we are having another uh, good element as online graph so this can be used for uh, displaying the graph on your mobile okay then we can have this sound for generating sound from the mobile after that we are having decoration so uh, here these are again label some frame that can be used for grouping the elements together then we have page we can create multiple pages in our application right so these are the elements that are used for building a application and coding is not required we have to just drag the element and drop it on the layout okay? then uh, the other thing is on this uh, right side that is the properties uh, in this properties again we have first important thing is the configuration now depending on what type of board you are using for developing the iot application you have to uh, configure this accordingly so for example if i want to select a board i can click on this second option so here the different type of boards that are supported by uh, remote xy those are available over here then we can choose also by the brand that is Arduino boards so if I click on this again, different type of Arduino boards that are uh, supported are available over here. Then uh, similarly, I can go for any other uh, brand and I can select the board supplied by them. Okay, Node MCU is also there, right? So uh, for this uh, demo, I will select this Node MCU. Then uh, the type of connection also you can choose, right? So I'm going to develop a, a IoT application which is going to control the led from the mobile through internet right so uh, my board must be connected to wi-fi or a cloud server right so for that i must have a connection as cloud server so i'm going to use the remote xy cloud for sending or receiving commands uh, to and fro from the application then next is module so module i'm going to use the uh, Wi-Fi on chip which is available on the node MCU and the final option is IDE so I'm going to use Arduino IDE for uh, downloading the program on the node MCU 
right? So once you select all these things, you have to simply click on apply. Now, once you click on apply, uh, again, you'll come back to this uh, window. Now, uh, next thing is you have to save your project. Okay? You can give some name to your project. For example, I'll give the name as IoT and click on save. Okay. Once the project is saved, the name of the project will appear over here. That is IoT. Okay. So I'll just remove this. So now I'm having this switch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, whenever I turn on or turn off this switch, the um, LED that is connected to the node MCU board that will turn on or turn off. That is the thing I'm going to do. So now to configure this switch, I have to click on this switch. Once I click on this switch, the properties of that switch are available over here. Right? So this is the variable name. So we can change this name as per your requirement. I'll keep right now as it is. Then I can change the color. I can change the background color. Okay? Then the captions also can be changed. The type of switch can also be changed. I can make it as ellipse or rectangular. And the last important thing is this snap to pin. Okay. Now, whenever I operate this switch, that affects which pin of node MCU that can be decided with the help of this option. Okay. So I will select this D0. It means that uh, the LED is connected to this D0 pin. And whenever I turn on or turn off this switch, the LED that is connected to D0 pin that will either turn on or turn off depending on position of the switch. Okay. So this is my uh, application. Okay. This is for a demo purpose. So just I have taken a single switch. Now after that, uh, once everything is done, I can click on save. Now the next thing that you have to do is you have to click on this module interface. Okay. So here you can type the name of your Wi-Fi router. Okay. For example, let me type some name. For example, EGB, and let's say the password is one to nine. Right. The next thing is you have to set the token. Okay. Now uh, I have already generated some tokens, but whenever you are logging in for first time, you have to click on my tokens and you have to click on create new token. So I have already created. That's why I, this list is visible. But in a new case, this um, there will be nothing in this list. Okay. So I have to click on create new token. So it will ask for some board name. Uh, so I will put let's say node. Okay. And simply click uh, click on create. So you can see that here the last one is the uh, board name that I have just entered. That is node. And this is the token and again i have to go to the editor and here i have to select that token that i have just created for example node okay so that uh, token number will be automatically available over here in this view we can change the background of the application let's say i want to have some other color like this i can change that right then Again, you want to have that application in horizontal mode or vertical mode that can be selected. Now, once everything is done, I have to again click on save. After that, I have to click on get source code. So once I click on that, another window will open. And in that, there are again different options available. So first thing is we have to download the source code. So whatever program or the code that is generated for the application is uh, available and it can be downloaded using this link. The next important thing is we have to install the remote XY library. So whenever we want to use this code in Arduino ID, the library related to remote XY must be already installed in Arduino ID. Then after that, we have to compile the source code and upload it to ESP8266 board. Next thing is we have to install the mobile application of remote XY on our mobile. And finally, we have to connect it to ESP8266. So uh, this is the source code that is automatically generated. So you can either copy this entire code or you can simply download the code and put it in the or open it uh, with the Arduino ID. 
so i will download that source code so after downloading that code i have opened it using this arduino ide and now here uh, you can modify this code if you want so the switch that we have used is this one and it is snapped to this d0 pin of node mcu okay so here that pin mode switch one comma output so that uh, switch is made as output so that switch is connected to d0 pin okay. then in this loop function we have this first function as remote xy underscore handler that is the inbuilt function of remote xy then here we have digital write pin underscore switch underscore one means the d0 pin that we have configured or attached to that switch on mobile application so the status of that uh, switch will be checked and based on that the pin will be made either high or low so using this function the led will be turned on or turned off if the value of the switch is equal to zero then the pin will be low means led will be off and if the value of switch is one then it will be made high that is the led will be turned on okay so this is a simple uh, application that we are going to see as a demo now once this code is available you can simply upload it by connecting the esp8266 board to your laptop and after that you have to go for tools here you have to select the boards okay so now this is a esp8266 board that is node mcu so i will select this node mcu so after that again i have to go to this uh, tools and here the port uh, i have to select right so right now it is disabled because i have not connected the uh, node mc board to my laptop once i connect that board to laptop the port will be enabled and i have to select the proper port uh, to which the node mc is connected and after that i have to simply click on this uh, verify or i can directly click on this upload so once i click on upload this entire program will get uploaded on the node mcu and we can start using the application now the next part is to open the remote xy application on our mobile and do the further process now on the mobile you have to go to play store and download the application called as remote xy okay. so i have already downloaded that i can click on that application so now here uh, i have to add the new device right so uh, i have already done some applications so that's why here i am getting two different uh, models already available that is bluetooth and cloud so for our new application i have to click on this plus after that i have to select the cloud server since i am going to operate it using remote xy cloud i have to select that and here instead of this device token the token that is available on that node token that we have created on the remote xy application that cloud token we have to copy and we have to type it over here okay so once i type that i can simply click on okay okay and then i can click on connect right? so before this uh, your board must be connected to wi-fi or some internet connection and a proper cloud token should be entered in this application so uh, once all these things are done and if i click on connect it will automatically connect to the node mcu board through the cloud server so once it is connected we can simply change the position of the switch and we can turn it on or turn it off and accordingly the led on the node mcu board will also turn on and turn off the demonstration of a similar kind of application is shown in another video the link of that is available on the top you can click on that link and you can see the demonstration how that particular application works if you have any doubts you can write those in comments thank you